Good morning, Golf High, live from WBUC Studios. I'm James Donlin. And I'm Brooke Sheehan, bringing you the Golf High Morning News for Tuesday, October 15, 2013. Spanish Honor Society meeting is held every Wednesday at 150, room 233. Want to travel to Spain and France this summer? Contact Senora Rodriguez for more information. All class t-shirts are currently on sale in both A and B lunches. Homecoming guest forms and permission slips can be picked up at the front office and permission slips have to be filled out and signed by a parent or guardian before purchasing a homecoming ticket. Commander McGuire took 24 college-bound cadets to the University of Florida for an orientation visit to learn about NROTC scholarship opportunities and college life. Congratulations to the girls volleyball team for achieving all academic honors. The cumulative team has a 3.5 GPA. Good job, Lady Bucks. Scholarships are given to graduating seniors who have participated in Odyssey of the Mind for at least two years as a team member. There are four competitive scholarships of $500 each. There will be more information in room 227. Boys soccer tryouts are this week and tomorrow and Thursday from 2 to 4. Please make sure you have your physical paper completed and turn into Coach Emerson in room 112 or else you will not be able to try out. Report to room 112 before head out on the field. Girls basketball tryouts are on Monday, October 21st at 3 o'clock to 5.30 in the gym. ASVAB tests are Thursday, November 7th, testing knowledge for career-based occupations and can help you enlist in the military. Seek guidance for more information. The performances at the Espresso Yourself Coffee House last Thursday were outstanding. Several students read their Barbie poems. For best use of theme and language, winners were Kayla Dodds, Amanda Buchler, Amelia Canianis, Jared McMickle, Melissa Donovan, Mary Angela Crescito, Tiani De Silva, Brooke Mastis, and Kailani Jackson. Miss Kim Davis, our principal, performed a poem by Thomas Wayman called Did I Miss Anything? and then started the amazing and powerful performances of the Slam Poets, all performing original works. First place was awarded to Taylor Cook, second place to Gray Bigler, and third place to Aldo Colon. Great job, Poetic Buccaneers. The word of the day is idiosyncrasy, which means characteristic peculiar to an individual or group, as in she had many idiocracies, some of which was washing her socks in the dishwasher. Don't forget to dress up tomorrow as Spirit Day for Homecoming Week. That's all for our news. Have a great day, GoFi. Come out to Chick-fil-A at the Gulfview Mall, October 16th. From 5 to 8. In order for the proceeds to go towards the Gulf High School Leo Club, you need to pick up one of these flyers either from room 203 or the office.